Good morning, Grant High. My name is Caleb. And my name is Diana. Today is Monday, March 18th. And you're watching Cases, Cases on, on Demand. Demand. Hey, Pacers. I'm Mariana Garcia, and today we are going to be interviewing Pacers from Moving Forward. Let's go. Hey, Pacers. I'm here with... Neja Barber, class of 2019. And Odds Brown, class of 2019. So, ladies, what makes Pacers Moving Forward special to you? Pacers Moving Forward is so special to me because they help me connect with my community. They're always there when I need them and always have homework assistance. It's special to me because they're on call 24-7. We go on great field trips, and they help me move further in my education. What makes Pacers Moving Forward a good place to be after school? Because it's somewhere else to be besides home, so you don't have to go home straight after school. And plus, if you need the extra homework or a computer to work on, they got you. Basically what she said, but they're super fun and interactive. Is there any more comments? No. Y'all should come join the after school program. What she said. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. You're welcome. Hi, I'm here with... Mr. Vince from Pacers Moving Forward After School Program here at Grant. So what is the after school program about? The after school program is more of an enrichment program. We do do homework, but it's more of uh, to attach and to get the whole student to progress. So it's not just about homework, but it's about like life skills, job employment, job placement, things like that. What are the benefits of coming to Pacers Moving Forward? Well, you can, you can have a safe space to do your homework and enrichment. You can do icebreakers. We go on field trips, job employment, or excuse me, job placement. Um, we, give, we talk to your teachers. We give you a ride home if you need a ride home. We do feed you if you need f to be fed. It's a lot of, it's just it's like a community-based organization. It's not just after school space, but it's a community thing. How could someone go about joining the after school program? You can come to Miss Jackie or you can ask one of the students in the, in the uh, Patient Moving Forward program. And they will just tell you to come to the library and get a job. I mean, a job application, an application for the after school program. Any more comments? Uh, that's it. All right. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm here with Anthony Santiago, to class of 2020. Benjamin Leon Franco, class of 2022. So, how has Pacers Moving Forward helped you? Um, Pacers Moving Forward helped me with a lot of personal problems, like. They talk to me on a daily basis on how I acted during the day. They also help me with my grades. They help me improve my attitude. They help me focus more in class. They spoke with my teachers about the problems that we had in class. And basically, that's it. Um, what they have helped me so far is uh, my grades. They've helped me a lot. They've talk to my teachers a lot, you know. They help me in personal situations, which I can't explain. Um, you know, they also help me with problems that go on during school and in our home. You know, that's basically what I have to say. What keeps you guys coming back to the after school program? Um, basically, all the support that they give me in the, in the after school program. I'm gonna agree with Anthony on that, support. Um, you, you can socialize, you know, there's a lot of people here with probably the same problems you have, you know. Connect with people that, you know, you normally don't connect with, you know, you'll connect with you. With. Any more comments? Don't pay attention moving forward. I would like to see you here. Pay attention moving forward. It's a great opportunity. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Hey Pacers, I just finished interviewing Pacers Moving Forward. Hopefully we'll catch you after break. Bye! Leadership, Avid 11, and Interact are participating in the Pennies for Patients campaign for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Money raised will continue to support leukemia and Lymphoma Society's mission to cure blood cancers and improve the lives of patients and their families. Our campaign ends on April 22nd. Thanks for your kind donations and support. Pacer Olympics begins today. Here's the schedule. Monday the 18th is tug of war. Tuesday the 19th is guess that song. 
and the, on the 20th, Wednesday, is an UNO tournament. These are all held during lunch. Thursday is flag football, and on Friday we have kickball, which is after school. For more info, find the leadership student. Kickbutts Day with Friday Night Live on Wednesday, March 20th. Friday Night Live is welcoming all grand students to a gathering in support of kicking cigarettes, smoking, and vaping. We will meet after school on Wednesday, March 20th at the flagpole on Grand Avenue. Let's remind the community how important Kickbutts Day is by encouraging all drivers who drive down Grand Avenue to honk their horns. We will have snacks for the first 50 students to check in with Mr. Wong. Go Pacers! News from Geo Recycle Team. We need our Pacers to recycle all plastic bottles. We want all Pacers to stop throwing away plastic bottles and start recycling them. Please use the provided recycle bins in classrooms. Thanks on behalf of the Geo Academy. Pacers on Demand is brought to you by the Grand Student Programming Network. My name is Caleb. And my name is Diana. Have, Have an, an amazing, amazing day, day Pacers. Pacers.